Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the gamma distribution. A random variable x whose PDF is proportional to x to the power k minus 1 e to the negative x over theta is a gamma distribution with parameters k and theta. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what that constant proportionality is. And so what we'll do is we'll recall the definition of the gamma function. Recall that gamma of k is the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the k minus 1 e to the negative t dt. This is the definition of the gamma function. And it turns out that there's a whole bunch of nice properties of gamma. We'll just summarize a few of them. Gamma of k plus 1 is equal to k factorial if k is a non-negative integer, okay, bigger than or equal to 0 and an integer. So it's a generalization of the factorial function. And the second most important property is that gamma of k plus 1 is k gamma of k. So it has this replication identity. And so with this in stow, what we can do is we can find this constant of proportionality. So what we have over here is we want to find the integral from 0 to infinity. We should specify, of course, that this is the PDF if, and the support of this PDF is this is only valid if x is greater than or equal to 0. And otherwise, the PDF is 0. So if we integrate from 0 to infinity, we need to find a constant c such that x to the k minus 1 e to the negative x over theta dx is equal to 1. And so what we'll do is make a substitution over here. What we can do is we can let u be x over theta, then du is going to be dx over theta. And so what we can say over here is we can say that this equation over here will now imply what? Well, we're going to have c, the integral from 0 to infinity. My limits won't change. But now x gets replaced with theta times u to the power k minus 1. And then we're going to have an e to the negative u and then we'll have a du over uh, du times theta. So du times theta will be this term. So du times theta. Because dx is going to be a theta du. And so all total, we need this to be equal to 1. So what's left over here is I will have a theta to the k. So I'll have a c times theta to the k, the integral from 0 to infinity of u to the k minus 1 e to the negative u du. And we need this to be equal to 1. And now here we realize that that integral term is exactly just gamma of k. So we need that c times theta to the k times gamma of k equals 1. And therefore, our constant proportionality is 1 over theta to the k gamma sub k. And so hence, we now have the PDF of this gamma random variable. So the PDF, so we say that x is gamma with parameters k and theta if the PDF has the form f of x is 0 if x is less than 0. And then the PDF is going to be 1 over theta to the k gamma of k x to the k minus 1 e to the negative x over theta if x is greater than or equal to 0. And so what we'll see in future videos is if I have this formula, I'll be able to compute the mean and variance using properties of the gamma function. Thank you very much.